What's up everybody, it's your boy Richie Casual from thecasual.co and today we're taking a small departure, not a big one, a small departure from the run-of-the-mill Japanese streetwear brands for men's and we're showing the ladies some love because you gotta show love to the ladies, remember that. Next up on the state, we give you five Japanese streetwear brands that slay <laughs> for the ladies and a couple that walk the tightrope of genderless. That and more right now. Right, so before we get all into the brands and stuff first a disclaimer the thing is streetwear generally is a male dominated genre of fashion and in japan it's no different except that many ladies often adopt male-centric clothing to compensate for the overly cute boutiques of japan's yesteryears far more girls are into street fashion than kawaii clothing like lolita and baby and making one stop in tokyo will change your whole perspective on that you'll see it for yourself so yeah, with that being said, let's get it. Now the first thing that you should know about Japan's true street fashion scene is that it's super androgynous, or rather genderless. And one of the best examples of the silhouette in its street form is Ground Y, the official street line of Yoji Yamamoto. You guys know who that is. This primarily monochromatic drapey airy line might scare off the ladies who like to show off a bit of those curves, but certain pieces can make you look extremely elegant or provide some amazing layering. While not for everyone, it's definitely recommended for ladies who want to add a little bit more traditional Japanese style to their wardrobe while staying true to the foundations of street. Now what's great about the style is that it's readily available in smaller brands as well, or I should say more economically sound. Hade comes to mind and when you want to go a bit tech or athleisure, white mountaineering, although the price range is a little high, provides that extra punch with color to an extremely dynamic style. Yes, white mountaineering has women's offerings as well and they're gold and if you happen to be a lady you should definitely check that brand out. The boy mix style has become so popular in Japan due to its ease of acquisition. It's everywhere, you can get it vintage, you can get it new. So it came to no surprise when LA based brand Extra Large opened up its ex-girl chapter in Harajuku's main corridor. The brand is a tomboyish mix of wide leg pants, crop tees and tops with a big splash of sport to keep in line with the main brand. Its style is so well received that many Japanese young women have adapted it in several different ways. Brands in stores like Candy Stripper, I didn't make up that name, I, that's not me. They take the style to the cuter side with its more dazzling women-centric pieces, even though it's called Candy Stripper. And stores like Pinnap add a little bit of 80s flair to the setup. There's a lot of room for customization is what I'm saying. And recently, the addition of wide distressed denim is making its rounds in Tokyo in a major way. Now, if you haven't noticed, oversize is just the way to go. And that is especially true for young ladies in Japan who opt for a more street look than a overly cute one or elegant one. And distressed clothing with muted colors are the remnants of normcore and grunge lifestyles that were so well received two or three seasons ago. And that has paved the way for brands like Monkey Time and newcomer Casper John. Both brands offer up the oversized tops that accentuate drape over curve with their long and gown-like shirts. And the wide crop shirts also have a big hold on both brands. Those into this style usually like to pair it with tighter jeans, which is a huge departure from the wide silhouette found most common in Japanese women's clothing. In fact, many Japanese women have begun to adopt the concept of Western sexy, where curve and body form take precedence over everything, which is leading to all kinds of ridiculousness, and it must be stopped. Not really, but it's hard not to look. That, that's the truth. Thing is, Casper John and Monkey Time are another pair of androgynous brands. Again, genderless, a lot of androgyny going on over here, which is becoming increasingly common not only in Japan, but around the world. For better or for worse, fashion is entering into this period where the clothes are blurring the lines between genders. And in many ways, Japan is at the forefront because they've been doing it forever, especially in the male dominated genre like street fashion. They look at both Monkey Time and Casper John are just a glimpse of the many offerings here in Tokyo. And now, 
Undercover, yes, it goes on the list because it's undercover. And while everyone who is a fan of this brand in the West predominantly looks towards its street fashion offerings for its men, it's important to remember that Undercover started its runway debut as a women's line. And, and I know what you're thinking. We all know what you're thinking. You're saying we can't count Undercover's runway stuff, to which we say, meh. We can count it because it's that important. Till this day, going into any Undercover main store, women's clothing is displayed first, always. And that really comes to no surprise because truth is, creator Jun Takahashi is obviously most comfortable with his women's offerings. And the clear punk influences should excite any lady interested in a dark yet music inspired brand like UC. Each collection offers up something new and even the more street centric offerings open the door to new possibilities. Simply put, Undercover is pretty amazing, and if you are a lady into street fashion at all, it's a no-brainer. But it does require some patience and bravery. Simply saying, I can't pull it off, won't do. Plus, the contemporary diffusion label, Sue Undercover, is bona fide gold, with a fresh take on classic pieces sans the heavy punk influences. I implore you, I implore you to check it out, like now. Should be in the links, just check it out. Now, if there was any label driving home today's current trends in Tokyo for ladies and men alike, it wouldn't take you too long to land on Miharu Yasuhiro and its street diffusion label, mine. For anybody, it's great. But what it has done to the market where sport meets street is nothing short of incredible. You couldn't walk a meter in Japan without seeing ladies rocking track pants, crop tops with buckle belts. You just can't. It ran that deep. Quite simply, it's just a well put together style. And we're just talking about the Diffusion label mine. The Miharu Yasuhiro main line is just as amazing, taking tried and true silhouettes and fabrics, spinning them on their heads, and creating something truly memorable. I mean, I mean, the invisible laces for the shoes. I, I mean, come on, man. It, it doesn't get much better than that. And yet another genderless setup for mine means, gentlemen, you can rock this too. And the best part, it looks just as good. It looks equally good. Equal, equality. The main line, however, has a clear divide between men's and women's, but the pieces are just so well put together and the fabrics used are so top notch that anyone would be a fool to pass it up. Personally, personally, me speaking here, Miharu Yasuhiro is taking the cake for me this year here in 2017. Not we this time, just me. And we look forward to more offerings in the future. Now, obviously there's a ton more and many people are going to pummel us for not mentioning brands like Chitose Abe Sakai or anything by Junya Watanabe, but that's the thing. It's just too much to cover. And maybe, just maybe, we have more under the hood here at The Casual. So patience, is a virtue. However, remember the most important thing is to take these brands and styles mentioned here and see how they inspire you. Go out and be brave. Don't leave the eccentric styles to the celebs who are paid to wear the things they have. Elevate your interests and in the case of fashion, wear them. Style is the canvas of you. That's what I always say. So that's it ladies and in a lot of cases gentlemen. Hopefully you come back. Come back and join us. Tell us what you think of these street brands and styles from Japan in the comments. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to follow on Instagram for the visuals and Twitter for the info. And if you want brands like the ones you saw today, help us build the ultimate shop for Japanese street fashion by supporting us on Patreon. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it Casual. I didn't put the fingers up, but you guys know. Yoroshiku no And we out.